Hey guys, Max here, and welcome back to another Premiere Pro CC 2015 tutorial. Now, first off, this will work in other versions of Premiere. I just always say Premiere Pro CC 2015 because that's what I own. So, And today, we'll be going over lower thirds inside of Premiere Pro instead of After Effects. Because I know I've been going over like a lot of lower thirds in After Effects lately, and you may not want to use After Effects. That's okay. You're not... You don't need that fancy of a lower third. You can really simple text kind of on the screen works for you. So I've already got something kind of built here. You can see there's some footage. Thing scrolls out. Boom, Boat Island. This guy's going to Boat Island. How happy is that? So we're just going to go in here and just make some different ones, different little techniques to make some cool stuff. And just maybe you'll learn something, maybe you won't. But hey, I'm here to help. So let's start over. So what we'll do is this is a sequence already created. We'll drag our footage in here just to have something on top and going. So there's a couple different ways to make lower thirds. Um, I make them different every time. There's no specific or right way to do it. Whatever way you prefer. So I'm going to kind of try to cover a diff couple different techniques on making these things. So first off, what I would normally do is you know create my footage, everything, sequence everything, make a new folder, call it effects, where I can put in titles and mats and stuff like that. So open up this folder, kind of drag it and dock it somewhere. And first thing I'm going to do is create a mat or a color mat. So a color mat, um, it'll be the same resolution and frames per second as our video. And what we're going to do, click OK, pops up. Let's pick a color, something cool that works for the scene. I used orange last time. Let's use something different. Use like a turquoise, maybe that'll be cool. Click OK, click OK, cool. What we can do now is actually drag this onto our timeline. And it's solid. Um, we need to change that. So what we'll do is we'll go into our effects and go to crop. And drag it onto here. Crop the top down some. And crop the bottom up. Now I crop it to the, the guidelines. You can turn your safe guides on with this little button right here, safe margins. And yeah, there you go. Maybe we'll turn the opacity down some. So grab the motion tag on your effect controls for this layer and take the opacity down some. So boom. It's going to be like that on the screen. Next, what we could do is go to new title. Title 2, it's fine with me. Pops open, click the text tool, click right here, somewhere, change our font to something we can work with. Let's see, something cool. Ah, we'll use my all-time favorite, why not, Babis New. It's like in every other video. Let's go to bold, and um, uh, let's do Coast Guard Chronicles. I'm not going to have it. Coast Guard Episode 1 Episode exclamation mark Nope, so Coast Guard Episode 1 We can drag and drop this Somewhere nicer Maybe increase the font size a little bit So font size right over here A little bigger, it's really on the screen We can tell this is awesome Drag it to our safeguard Right here and you don't have to follow this structure of dragging it to the safeguard or making this lower third at the bottom of this. It doesn't matter. It's whatever is up to you. You can do what you want. Click X. Now when we drag this onto our timeline, it will be there. And it looks a little off below. So double click this, bring it back in, and move it up some. Click X. And now it's more centered. Eh, let's go back in, move it back down. Right there should be good. Works for me. Cool. Next, what we'll do is go into our effects and type drop shadow just to add a little, you know, pop to it. Just like that. And Coast Guard, episode one. So you could do it like this where it plays and it pops in. That works. Or you could just right click both of these and go apply default transitions and add a cross dissolve. And it just fades in, which is really nice. And it just you can make it fade out five seconds later. That works. Now we can get rid of these cross dissolves and do it a little differently. Um, 
can make it look like it's being drawn in. Now this is kind of a neat way to do it. So what we're going to do is go to our motion tag on the color mat and key the position right about there and then scroll back in time to right about here and move this back this way. So we're grabbing this right here, moving it back, and it'll do this. Boom. So what we're going to do now is go to crop in our effects, drop a crop tag onto our title, and there might be a better way to do this, but this still works pretty quickly. We'll crop the left back some, Oops, let's crop the right back some, right about there. We'll key it, then move it all the way back to the beginning and crop it all the way back to right about there, 100%. So, when it starts to scroll out, what we can do is zoom in, and this thing is moving out, we can move this little point to be a little further. We can kind of like reveal it a little more with a keyframe. 88% and it goes forward so and right about there it should be almost done and as you can see what I did is what I made this I keyed the crops right here so the hourglass is turned on I made some keyframes inside of this effect controls and as the color map moves over in its position it just looks like it's revealing the name really simple I mean it works and then what you could do is right or highlight both of these um, go to nest click OK now you have a nested sequence which is basically a pre-composition inside of Premiere so what you do now is grab this, option click and move it out, speed and duration, reverse the speed so it goes out, and right before it starts to go out, we'll move this over and kind of put it on top of this layer just to make it a short time. So it goes in, sits for a second, and goes out. Now you can change the timing on this as much as you want. So maybe it lasts a little longer. Coast Guard, Episode 1. Then it scrolls out. Really simple, nothing too fancy, but it works. Next, let's do something else. Delete all this, and by the way, before we delete this, you can double click on nested sequences to go in and edit them. Fun fact of the day. Like a pre-composition. So, well, we won't delete this, we'll move it over. We'll save it for later. What we're going to do now is make a different kind of lower thirds that you can do on your own, um, but it's all made with the text tool. So, get a new title, click OK, click anywhere, well, let's go ahead and make something first. Let's uh, grab this little rectangle tool and drag out a rectangle. Cool, cool. Then what we'll do is click the text tool type um, let's make it a colored text we'll do our same turquoise looking color click OK type change our font to Babus New bold come on people bold Coast Guard move our rectangle to where we kind of like it somewhere grab Coast Guard right here then exit out on this take this title put it into here we have the Coast Guard what we're gonna do now is make a new title this is our subtext so what we can do is actually uh, grab another little rectangle drag it out I'd say right about here. Make it a little fatter and you'll see why in a second. We can change the color of this rectangle. Let's make it orange because that's going to look cool with our different colored text. Then take a text tool and let's go back to Babus New. 
go to I don't know, regular, make it white, and type our text. Episode one. Grab this and put it right about there. Or you know what, we can put it right here. And take this rectangle and actually make it a little smaller. Episode one. Cool. Exit out, we're good to go. Take our first title, move it up a layer and grab episode one and put it under it. So what that does is puts it under this. Then what we can do is actually take our motion tag of the bottom layer and move it over to right here. Move it up a little bit. Maybe we'll give it a little leeway right here. Then what we can do is go into effects and go to drop shadow. And actually drop a drop shadow on our top layer. A little bit of distance on the drop shadow. Make it a little softer. Take this, move it down a little more. Yeah, so what we're going to do real fast before we make the cool effect, we're going to go back into episode one and actually make the rectangle a little smaller. I think that'll help out a lot. Cool. So move it up. It works. So this is how this is going to work. We're going to affect these to make them look pretty cool. So we'll key this to about right here. Key the position of the top layer with the, uh, your motion tag and your effects, effect control panel. Key your position. Move it back in time. And take your position of title number three and move it back. And what else you can do to make it really cool and smooth, if we play it right now, it just kind of goes out and abruptly stops. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is right click on this keyframe and go to ease in and then right click on this keyframe and go to ease out. So essentially it just eases out and eases in. Cool. Then what we'll do next is once it stops, we can key episode one right here and then move back in time a little bit to about right here and then move it up on the Y axis under this layer. So right click this keyframe, ease out and right click this keyframe ease in. So what we're going to have is this. One more little trick before we fix this. This layer needs to appear in the timeline after this one has covered it up. So we'll move it over, start it right here, and then this is what we're going to get. So play it. Coast Guard comes out. Episode 1. Really, really cool. What you can do a little bit further down on the timeline I think would make it a little nicer. Have it sit a little longer. Let it go out. Episode one. Then take the drop shadow, drop it on our bottom layer, just to give it a little depth. And boom, Coast Guard. Episode one. All made within Premiere. And what we'll do, just like last time, is highlight both of these, do nested sequence. Let's call it uh, you know L3 for lower third. Dash number one. Very fancy technical name to make you look really professional. Then what we can do is uh, option click this to drag another layer out of the same thing. Right click, speed and duration, reverse the speed. Grab it, put it about right here and we should have ourselves a fancy opening lower third. And that actually worked out really great because it's matching up to this right here. <laughs> Lucky footage. <laughs> and I love happy accidents. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, some quick and easy styled lower thirds for Premiere. These always look nice, always look great. Um, and what else you can do is actually go in here and pick a color from your background. So what we could do is actually pick this red right here from the boat. So what we can do is go into title number four grab our you know, rectangle in the background and just make it a red. Not the exact red, but close enough. So go back to our normal sequence. And how cool is that? Go in, edit the, um, the nested sequence to have a little bit of different color. 
Orange worked. Red works because it matches the boat. But yeah. And then we have our other lower thirds that we made before. So there's two different ways to make some lower thirds for Premiere. There's tons of different ways to do this. Feel free to experiment and find your own. But overall, I hope this helped. So I'm Max. Please like and subscribe. And feel free to leave a comment and tell me what you think. Um, but I really hope this helps. And uh, thanks, guys. And until uh, next time, peace.